Today we will discuss about defects or imperfection in solids. In case of a crystal, when all the lattice are occupied by the constituent particles, the crystal is said to be perfect. And we can get a perfect crystal only at 0 Kelvin temperature or at absolute 0. And at that time, the vibration of the constituent particle is negligible. That means, it is closely packed. Once we slowly start increasing the temperature, what happens you know, the vibratory motion of the constant particles also starts increasing. And when the vibratory motion starts increasing, what happens? Some of the constituent particles, they leave the lattice site or they may occupy the interstitial site. So, when the lattice site is disturbed or when, or when the ions leave the lattice site or they occupy the interstitial site, what happens? Uh, defect is produced in the crystal. So, what is produced? A uh, defect is produced in the crystal. So, the defect is arising due to what? Increase in temperature. When the temperature is increased, that time only the vibratory motions are increasing. So, the constant particles they leave the latter side or they may occupy the interstitial site. And any deviation from the orderly arrangement give rise to what? Defect in the crystal. And this defect in the crystal is also known as thermodynamic defect. Why we call it as thermodynamic defect? Can you tell the reason why we call it as thermodynamic defect? Because the defect is arising due to what? Increase in temperature. So, that is the reason why the imperfection in solids is also known as what? Thermodynamic defect or thermodynamic imper imperfection. Why? Because it arises due to increase in temperature. So, understood? how a defect can be created in a crystal. At absolute zero only you get a perfect crystal. Why? Because the vibrations are nil. Once the temperature is increased, the constituent particles, they start leaving the lattice site or they may occupy the interstitial site, which give rise to imperfection in the crystal. And it is also known as what thermodynamic defect. Why? Because it is arising due to what? Increase in temperature. Now, this defect in the changes the property of solids that is we can explain the mechanical properties electrical properties all this can be explained on the basis of what uh, defect in the crystal now defect in a crystal can also be produced by adding impurities that is when a crystal is duped with impurities that also produ produces what defect in the crystal and this property is used for creating what semiconductors understood by adding impurity to a crystal we can improve the properties of solids and this property is used for creating what or producing semiconductors. So, defects arise due to increase in temperature any deviation from the orderly arrangement gives rise to defect and the defect arises due to the missing of constituent particles or the constant particles occupying the interstitial site. So, how can we classify defects? So, before that to see here, what is atomic imperfection or atomic defect, imperfection or defect? Any deviation in the arrangement of constituent particles is called what atomic imperfection or atomic defect any deviation in the arrangement of the constituent particles or irregularity or irregularity in the arrangement of constituent particles gives rise to what atomic imperfection or atomic defect. Then comes as what is point defect? It is due to missing or misplaced ions, missing or misplaced ions gives rise to what point defects. Is it clear? Any deviation in the arrangement of the constant particles or irregularity in the arrangement of constant particles is known as what atomic imperfection or atomic defect. Now, if it is due to missing or misplaced ions, we call it as what point defect. 
So, we will classify the defects into three different categories. We'll just write here crystal defect. First is stoichiometric defect. Stoichiometric defect. Then the second one is non stoichiometric defect. And the third one is impurity defect. So, the crystal defects are three types stoichiometric defect, non stoichiometric defect and impurity defect. So, one by one we will study. Now, in stoichiometric defect you have one vacancy defect, number two interstitial defect. Third one is Schottky defect and the fourth one is Frenkel defect. These are the four defects which comes in stoichiometric defect, vacancy defect, interstitial defect, Schottky defect and Frenkel defect. Now what is a uh, stoichiometric defect? See a compound in which the ratio of the cation and anion is same as prescribed in the chemical formula such a compound is known as stoichiometric compound that is a compound in which the ratio of the cation and anion is the same as prescribed in the chemical formula such a compound is known as stoichiometric compound and the defect arising in a stoichiometric compound is known as stoichiometric defect so is it clear that is the number of cations and anions the ratio of the cations and anions will be the same as prescribed in the chemical formula but the crystal will be having defect such a crystal is known as what stoichiometric stoichiometric crystal and the defect arising in such a crystal is known as stoichiometric defect so the number of cations and anions their ratio will remain same as in the prescribed chemical formula but the crystal will have a defect such a defect is known as stoichiometric defect. So, in stoichiometric defect the first one we will discuss is vacancy defect. Now, what is a vacancy defect? I am just going to draw a crystal here. This is a non ionic solid, I have not put any charge here. It is made of two different types of atoms A and B. Now, you just count the number of A atoms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 A atoms are there. And how many B atoms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 B atoms. So, the ratio is same equal number of A atom and equal number of B atoms. So, crystal is perfect. Now, from this crystal, from here uh, A atom is missing and from here a B atom is missing. But is the stoichiometry disturbed? It remains the same only number of A atoms is equal to what number of B atoms. So, so this is what type of defect a stoichiometric defect and why we call it as a vacancy defect why because in the crystal lattice some of the space is what vacant. So, this is vacant and this is also vacant. So, what is produced here a hole is produced. So, some of the uh, ions uh, atoms are missing from the lattice side which creates what hole in the crystal. So, such a defect is known as what vacancy defect. Here what will happen to the density of the crystal? Density of the crystal will increase or decrease. The density of the crystal will decrease. Why is the density decreasing? Because number, some of the atoms are missing from the lattice side. So, in case of a vacancy defect, atoms are missing 
or just constant particles or particles are missing, missing and then what happens to density? Density decreases. So, understood what is a vacancy defect? A defect in which the constant particles will be missing from the lattice site due to which the density decreases and the vacancy defect is found in non ionic solids. So, keep so this you should be clear vacancy defect is found in what type of solids non ionic solids. So, that is the reason why I did not take here what atoms object sorry ions I have taken some atoms. So, vacancy defect is a defect in which the constituent particles will be missing from the lattice site creating what hole due to which what is producing what happens to the density of the crystal the density of the crystal decreases. So, is it clear and it is found in what type of solids non ionic solids. Next we will discuss is interstitial defect. Now, again I am going to take a crystal So, here also you have got the constant particles. So, you have got the constant particles. So, all the lattices are occupied. Now, see here a particle is occupying this vacant space also, here also it is occupying, here also it is occupying. That means, apart from the lattice site, there are particles also in what the interstitial site. Now, if this particles were not there, it was a perfect crystal. Now, what is happening? Two of the interstitial sites are occupied. So, what is an interstitial defect? A defect in which apart from the normal lattice site, there will be some particles in the interstitial site also. So, such a defect is known as interstitial defect. Here what happens to the density? Here the density increases, here the density increases. So, in case of interstitial defect, the density increases and in case of vacancy defect, the density is decreasing. In case of vacancy defect, the constituent particles leaves the lattice site and in case of interstitial defect, some particles occupy what? The interstitial site. So, in case of interstitial defect density is increasing and both vacancy defect and interstitial defect are found in what type of solids? They are found in non ionic solids. Next is Schocke defect. So, I have made a crystal containing both cation and anion and see the number of cation and anion just count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 cations, 9 A plus ions anion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 B minus. So, the number of cation and anion is what same. So, the crystal is what neutral now. Now, what is a Schocke defect? A defect which is found in ionic solids and in this type of defect equal number of cation and anion will be missing from the lattice site. If one cation is missing same time one anion also will be missing. If two cations are missing two anions also will be missing. So, a defect found in ionic solids in which equal number of cations and anions will be missing from the lattice site is known as what Schocke defect. So, just from here one A plus is going and see from here a uh, anion you see. So, now see the ratio of the cation and anion it remains the same you have 8 A plus and 8 B minus. So, the crystal is what now neutral only. is it clear. So, understood what is Schocke defect? A defect in which equal number of cations and anions will be missing from the lattice site is known as Schocke defect. And Schocke defect is shown by that type of ionic, ionic solids in which the size of the cation and anion are similar. There is no much difference in size between the cation and anion. Such type of ionic solid shows which defect? Schocke defect. So, the first point in Schocke defect is equal number of cations and anions are missing will be missing that is the first point 
Then the second point is it is shown by ionic solids in which size of cation and anion are comparable. They were somewhat similar. So, that is the second point and the third one is it is shown by those ionic solids in which the coordination number is high. So, coordination number is high. So, understood? What is shocking defect? Equal number of cations and anions will be missing from the lattice site. Then in to uh, for an ionic solid to show shocking defect, the size of cation and anion should be what comparable and it is shown by ionic solids where the coordination number is high. Now, for example, you can have NaCl, KCl, then CCM chloride, all this shows shocking defect. I am just going to write here AGBR also, this compound has some exception. So, AGBR is also showing what? Shocky defect. So, is it clear? Equal number of cations and anions are missing from the lattice site and the size of the cation and anion should be what? Comparable, coordination number should be what? High. Then, now see here, can you tell it is a vacancy defect? It is same as vacancy defect, but only what is the difference? Vacancy defect is shown by non-ionic solids, but shocky defect is shown by what? Ionic solids, that is the only difference. So, shocky defect is the type of vacancy defect shown by ionic solids and vacancy defect is shown by what non-ionic solids. In case of shocky defect what is happening? The ions are leaving the lattice site. So, what happens to the density of the crystal? Density of the crystal decreases. In case of shocky defect the density of the crystal decreases. So, in case of vacancy defect also what is happening to the density? It is decreasing. So, only difference in vacancy defect and shocky defect is what? Shocky defect is found in non -ion, uh, found in ionic solids and vacancy defect is found in non ionic solids. In both the cases the density is decreasing. Next we will go to is Frenkel defect. Next is Frenkel defect. Here you see we have got a perfect crystal. In case of Frenkel defect what happens is the cation leaves the lattice site and occupies the interstitial site. That is in case of Frenkel defect the cation leaves the latter site and it is occupying what interstitial site. Why is the anion not occupying the interstitial site? Only the cations will occupy. Why? Because you see the voids are very small in size and when you compare cations and anions, cations have got smaller size than what anions. So, the cations only will occupy what the interstitial site, it is not the anions. So, from this what can you conclude? Frenkel defect is shown only by those ionic solids in which the size of the cation is what small that is Frenkel defect can be shown only by those ionic solids in which the size of the cation is small because the cation is occupying which position interstitial position. So, is the electrical neutrality of this crystal disturbed it is not disturbed the crystal is having defect but the number of cation and anion remains what the same the cation leaves the latter site and occupies the interstitial site. So, in case of a crystal to show Frenkel defect, the size of the cation should be what? Small. So, if the size of the cation is big, it cannot show Frenkel defect. Why? Because the cation is occupying which position? The interstitial site. So, here will the density decrease? The density will not decrease. Why? Because the cation is not leaving the lattice site. It is present inside the crystal itself. So, is it clear? Frenkel defect is shown by those ionic solids in which the size of the cation is small and it occupies which position? The interstitial site. So, the first point is cation occupies interstitial site. Then the second one is it is shown by the size of cation should be small compared to size of anion ok. Then the third one is it is shown by those ionic solids where the coordination number is low. So, the coordination number is low those solids which has got coordination number low and the fourth one density does not change 
density does not change because the cation is not leaving the lattice side. Now, it is a combination of what? Vacancy defect and what? Interstitial defect. A vacancy is produced due to missing of cation and where is the cation occupying? It is occupying the interstitial site. So, it is a combination of what? Combination of vacancy defect and interstitial defect. So, it is a combination of vacancy defect and interstitial defect. Example you can take is zinc sulfide, AGI, AGBR. See, I wrote, uh, gave example AGBR for shock defect as well as I gave it for what? Frankel defect. So, it is an exception. AGBR shows both shock defect and Frankel defect. The reason I will explain. So, is it clear Frankel defect? The cation leaves the latter side and occupies the interstitial side. The size of the cation should be what? Small compared to the size of the anion. Coordination number should be what? Low. The density is not disturbed. So, Frankel defect is also shown by what? Ionic solids. Now, AGBR is an exception which shows both Shockey defect and Frankel defect. What is the reason why AGBR shows both Shockey defect and Frankel defect? In case of Shockey defect, what is happening is it should leave the lattice site. So, AGBR is having a cubic close packed structure. So, it occupies the AG plus ion occupies what octahedral void. Okay. So, it leaves the octahedral void and then it goes and occupies the tetrahedral void. So, what is what type of defect is produced? Shockey defect. Then some of the Ag plus ions you know they occupy the interstitial site also. So that means there is Schottky defect as well as what Frenkel defect and the dominating defect is Frenkel defect compared to Schottky defect. There is another reason also radius ratio you are not studying the radius of cation by radius of anion it has got certain range ok. In case of AgBr it is intermediate. What is intermediate? I will explain. In case of a crystal to show Schottky defect, the radius ratio should be nearly unity. And for a crystal to show Frankel defect, the radius ratio is very low. It becomes a uh, radius ratio is very low. It comes in the range of 0 0.225 to 0 0.414. Okay. And for uh, Frankel defect uh, for Schottky defect, it is up to 0 0.732 to 1 approximately. That means nearly unity for Schottky defect and for Frankel defect it should be radius ratio is low. But in case of AGBR the radius ratio is intermediate, intermediate means it is neither very low, low nor it is near to what unity. So that is the reason why AGBR shows both Schottky defect and Frankel defect and Frankel defect is dominating compared to Schottky defect. Is it clear? Uh, AGBR to show Schottky defect. Why? Because the ion leaves the lattice site that is why it shows what Schottky defect that is it actually occupies octahedral void, it leaves octahedral void and it goes to the tetrahedral void and some of the Ag plus ion because of its small site it occupies the interstitial site also and the radius ratio for a compound to show Schottky defect it should be approximately unity and to show Frenkel defect it should be very low. But in case of AGBR, the radius ratio is intermediate. It is neither very low nor near to unity. So, that is the reason why AGBR shows both Schottky defect and Frankel defect, but Frankel defect is dominating in case of AGBR. So, is it clear? Stoichiometric defects are the defects in which the compound will have uh, the ratio of cation and anion or the number of cation will be equal to number of anion as prescribed in the chemical formula, but the crystal will have a defect and this is a four type vacancy defect, interstitial defect, Schottky defect and Frankel defect. Vacancy defect and interstitial defect are found in non-ionic solids, then uh, Schottky defect and Frankel defect are found in what ionic solids. Schottky defect is a type of vacancy defect and Frankel defect is a combination of vacancy defect and interstitial defect. Schottky defect, in Schottky defect the density decreases, but in case of Frankel defect the density is not disturbed. Next we will go to is impurity defect. That is by adding impurity to a crystal also we can 
produce defect in the crystal. Now see here, I have made a crystal of sodium chloride. Now, in the container we are taking sodium chloride. To this I am going to add some amount of strontium chloride. That is molten sodium chloride is taken. To that I am adding what? Strontium chloride. And after that it is allowed to crystallize. That is a mixture of sodium chloride, uh, sodium chloride and strontium chloride is allowed to crystallize. That you are taking molten NaCl in a beaker. To that you are adding strontium chloride and then it is allowed to what? Crystallize. After crystallization what do you observe is some of the Na plus ions are missing and in place of Na plus ions strontium ions have occupied the position. Okay. Now see here from here one Na plus is missing and from here also one Na plus is missing and this site is occupied by what strontium chloride and this site is weakened. So what is produced in the crystal? A defect is produced. How is the defect produced? By adding what? A impurity that is to NaCl crystal you are adding what? Strontium chloride. So when you add strontium chloride to molten NaCl and when it is allowed to crystallize what do you observe? Some of the Na plus ions are missing from the lattice site and the Na plus ions are replaced by what? Strontium ions. But see here how many Na plus ions are missing? Two Na plus ions are missing and it is replaced by how many strontium ions? One strontium ion. Why it is replaced by one strontium ion? What did I say you that crystal will have defect but it will be what? Electrically neutral because the number of positive charge should be equal to what? Number of negative charge. So when two Na plus ions are missing it should be replaced by only how many strontium ions? One. Then only the ratio of positive charge will be equal to the ratio of negative charge. So what is produced in the crystal? A vacancy is produced and this creates what? Defect in the crystal. Is it clear? So when NaCl is duped with strontium chloride which defect is produced? Impurity defect. Same way when AgCl is duped with cadmium chloride here also what type of defect will be produced? Impurity defect. Ag plus is monovalent. This is divalent. So 2 Ag plus will be replaced by how many cadmium ions? 1 cadmium ion. If it is 4 Ag plus will be replaced by how many cadmium ions? 2 cadmium ions. So by adding impurity to a crystal also what can be produced in the crystal? Defect can be produced. Mostly you know the crystals which show Schottky defect they show what? Impurity defect also. Is it clear? So impurity defect is produced by adding impurities to a crystal. So that the monovalent ions will be replaced by what? Divalent ion. And the ratio of the positive and negative charge will remain same due to which the electrical neutrality will be maintained. So impurity defect molten NaCl duped with strontium chloride is an impurity defect and molten AgCl duped with cadmium chloride is also a impurity defect. So is it clear what is impurity defect? So today we had discussed about stoichiometric defect and impurity defect. In next class we will discuss about non-stoichiometric defect.